Hey YouTube, Eli here. Today I am talking about the Uperfect OLED 600 nit brightness uh, portable monitor. Um, I, uh, I'll put the model number in the description. Um, let me show you the packaging first. This is the box it came in. Portable monitor. It doesn't say the model number on the box, which is kind of odd. I think it should. Came with the styrofoam, came with some cords. Um, this in this box was this little block, which has a nice, uh, this folds down and then it has nice little tabs. Um, so you can pull it out well. Here's the um, output. It has 30 watt max output, um, which I think is, uh, it definitely should not have 30 watt output with this standard block um, because since the Thunderbolt 3 is 90 watts power max um, it came with an HDMI cord and it came with two um, USB-C cords and something I don't like about these cords is that it doesn't say if they're TB3 or TB4 or USB-C like what what combination they have there so i was trying to figure it out um this is the i'll show you what else it came with it came with these packages for the, that's the cords came in and then some more styrofoam and it doesn't say on these packages if it's thunderbolt three or four or not either um and i don't think the listing said but i think that the i think in a question and answer somebody did on the posting um they said that the monitor itself has Thunderbolt 3 ports, which um, should be okay, but I'll talk more about that in a second. Here's the user manual it came with. Um, so I was trying to figure out, or I was trying to see if it said they were TB3 or 4 cords. And it doesn't say in here, it just says USB, it just says Type-C to Type-C. And then it doesn't say uh, what type of HDMI cable it is either which I think it should but yeah it doesn't say on here either side same with here um, it does say it's a high speed HDMI cable so it could be 2.1 maybe um, it does have a few numbers on the cable itself so we know it's 30 volts and then but I'm guessing the HDMI cable would be easier to figure out because you could type in these numbers 20276 and it would probably come up on Google that would tell you what it is. So for these USB-C cables um, it doesn't say here what type they are and then here um, it gives specifications about the product but I think that this is not this product. I think they sent me a book that doesn't match because this brightness is 300 CD slash meters squared. So I think that's uh, 300 nits. And this is the 600 nit model. So I need to double check that and confirm. So that's a con about this is that they should make sure that their booklets match the models that they ship out. Um, so this laptop here is a Thunderbolt 3. It has a Thunderbolt 3 port, and I'm powering this right now with only the provided cord. And I have a Thunderbolt 4 cord here that I'm going to try with it and see if it does anything different. So um, I'm outside right now to just kind of show you what it looks like. And here's another monitor I have that I'll show you. And uh, here's where the sun is at right now. Um, it's about uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun isn't shining directly on these screens. Um, it's kind of to the side of it. So this is an Excel sheet that I have up. And um, here in my display thing, um, if you're running it off of only a Thunderbolt cord, um, you want to probably not run it at 4K so that it'll use less power. So when you first plug it in, you have to come in here and uh, in your display settings, and change the resolution to 1080. And then um, it does give you HDR option 
here, which is cool. But I'll I'll show you that. This is um oh this brightness is turned all the way up. Um you click on the settings button there, and then brightness is the only thing that pops up, and then you use this other button there to turn it up or down. So brightness is all the way up on the monitor itself. It comes when you first buy it, it's at 10. So you have to turn it up. And then um, in here, so this is without HDMI, HDR, and let me turn it on and I'll show you what that looks like. And here's with HDR on. Um, so I kind of think that the monitor looks brighter than like with HDR off. So, and uh, on the camera, it looks a little bit brighter than it does in person also let me turn that um yeah so here's with hdr off again and yeah that's that does look easier to see so um yeah so thunderbolt 3 um caps at 90 watts power but thunderbolt 4 is 100 watts so i'm capped at a thunderbolt 3 port in this laptop to run power out of it and then, um, but I think this monitor has Thunderbolt uh, 3 also. So I don't think that using the TB4 cord will do anything different um, since I'm already capped on two different ports. So, but this monitor here is a TB4 monitor. I believe it's U-Perfect also, but um, let me switch these out. I'll switch the cord and we'll see if it looks any different. So we're going to be using the TB4 cord here. And yeah, there's not very many TB4 cords on the internet for sale, or very many posted. So you just kind of have to look if you're um, searching for one, just kind of have to dig a little bit. Okay, so this looks pretty much the same. Yeah, I don't see any differences. Let's change the HDR back. And now it turned on nightlight. But, okay, I'm on the wrong screen. Not nightlight. I'm trying to get the HDR turned on so we can test that. So with the TB4 cord, it doesn't want to give me the HDR option, which is odd, but using, okay, so if you click off of it and back on it a couple times, then the HDR button will appear, which is kind of odd. Okay, so yeah, it looks pretty much the same as the other cord did, the TB3 cord versus TB4. So now here's without HDR again. So, um, and in this booklet, it does say, it does mention Thunderbolt a couple places. So I think that they at least shipped out a Thunderbolt cord and not just a USB-C cord. And then I think that Thunderbolt 3, I mean, this says supports Thunderbolt 3 here, but, and so I think only Thunder, I think Thunderbolt 3 is the only one that you can do. Um, the uh, the power and the display like this this powerful of a monitor with so I think that based on the fact that it shows a picture means that it's probably at least a Thunderbolt 3 cord um, and I don't think that they would have shipped a TB4 cord um, since the monitor doesn't have a TB4 port so yeah that's enough of this monitor let me just show you um, I'm gonna plug in the other other monitor now because uh, this is what 600 nits looks like. So I'm gonna plug in the other one so you can see a little bit of a comparison. And we'll just use the same cord because we're capped at TB3 anyway. So it doesn't matter much. Now this nit um, I think is at, it's loading, it's trying to turn on. Um, oh, I use the wrong port. I think this one is at like two or 300 nits brightness. And let me show you the ports on the side of this OLED 
monitor. You've got your OTG port, several buttons there. I think that's a little speaker, but um, yeah, I don't think the speakers are very powerful. And there's a printer cord on this and an HDMI cord, which is cool. And then uh, your power cord. And when you're running only one cord from this for power and display, you use this port there, the little monitor icon. And then it has a uh, headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter, which is cool. So this other um, screen from Uperfect, I think it is, has a mini HDMI and then two display ports. And then there's buttons on the other side, um, an OTG, basically your standard stuff. So here's what this one looks like. Let me make sure brightness is all the way up. Yeah, brightness is all the way up. And this is with HDR off. Yeah, it's off. So this is comparing, this is like the two or 300 nit brightness one. And it, I do think it looks darker. Um, it's not a massive difference. Like you can still see this, but also it is 420 in the afternoon here now. And so the sun has gone down a little bit at like 1230 or one o'clock, the sun was super bright. And so I think that in times of peak brightness outside using these outside that um, the extra 300 nits brightness um, will really uh, take into effect there because um, this monitor is only slightly brighter than this laptop screen and um, I could I could barely see the laptop screen while I could see this a little bit if I kind of like squinted and looked at it. So let me turn this directly into the light and you can see. So yeah, that's much harder to read directly in the sunlight. Let me, uh, let me switch back to the other monitor and we'll, we'll try that same thing. See if I can find model numbers for both of these that I'm using. And put them in the description. Oh, and the uh, this is on the opposite side. The port you plug it into. Oh, and here's the um, the case back. This is what it does. It just snaps on here, and you can uh, set it up different ways, and then it folds and closes like that. So, okay, let me turn this directly into the sun. So there's directly into the sun. And that, I will say that is a lot easier to read than the other one is uh, directly in the sun, which is um, super cool. Um, let's compare it against my laptop in the sun. Okay, so... There's the portable monitor, and then here's the laptop screen. Um, it's a little bit harder to see on camera, but um, it definitely looks better on the portable monitor. Um, just a little bit better. Like you can still make this out if you like squint um, and uh, look harder at it. But I mean, if you have the money to buy this one it's definitely worth it i think based on these tests and uh, yeah uh this one this one um actually was a refurbished model and so i didn't know if it would work or not um, but it was from newegg and shipped out by uperfect still and it was like much cheaper buying it that way it was like 150 or something uh, versus like the 400 or whatever they are on amazon so yeah, if you can find a refurbished model, um, I would check Newegg or check Best Buy maybe. And uh, yeah, that would be, uh, it's definitely a great bet if you can find that. But even if you can't and you're still looking to do like an outside setup, then uh, I still think it's definitely worth it. So, All right, th th thank you.